it would appear that China is refusing to allow the Taiwanese folks that are in Wuhan to be released and returned to them. And this story is actually uh, from the Taiwan News is where I'm getting it. But uh, you guys, I'll leave the link right below so that you can read it. But uh, according to this story, uh, China has refused Taiwan's request to charter planes and bring its citizens home after being trapped in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The Taiwan news outlet Chinatimes.com reported this on Tuesday, January 28th. And we obviously know that they're ahead of us in the time. So Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council and Straits Exchange Foundation have requested that Taiwanese trapped in Wuhan, the center of the deadly coronavirus outbreak, be allowed to return home via charter flights, the report said. However, China's Taiwan Affairs Office, the TAO, has refused the request, according to the Chinatimes.com report. The TAO spokesman Ma Zhaozhong issued a news release on Tuesday afternoon stating that China's Association for the Relations Across Taiwan Straits received a letter from the SEF on uh, 6 p at 6 p.m. on Monday. The Taiwanese news has also released a statement stating that um, reports for the negotiation to return to Taiwan is uh, not reflected uh, correctly. So basically they're saying they're not telling the whole story. Well, I don't know. Ma insisted that Taiwanese in the Hubei province, where Wuhan is located, have been cared for. As of Monday afternoon, no Taiwanese in the province have been affected with the virus. And that is from the Taiwan Affairs Office. Ma said China had a high regard for the well-being of Taiwanese in China and had been in touch with the officials from the beginning of the outbreak, according to the report. He added that China has arranged for the Taiwanese experts to inspect the situation in Wuhan and uh, was continuing to pri provide them updates uh, as they go regarding the disease. Now, to date, at this point right now, the report that I've just read says uh, that there are 4,515 cases of the actual virus that have been reported. But they also show that there's 106 deaths that are also being reported. Now, I think that the funny piece about this is, is that if you can count 4,515 cases and you can count 106 deaths, that means to me it's a whole bunch more. And the reason why I say this is because of the incubation period, folks. The incubation period on this thing, according to what they've said. Now, I have heard some as small as one day incubation to uh, a week incubation. But the true facts that I've read today show that they are three days to 14 day incubation. Now, what does that mean? That means that somebody could be walking around with all these symptoms and nobody knows what they have. They, they could be asymptomatic is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? They don't have to have any symptoms at all. They can just be walking around town like nothing's wrong. And then one day, all of a sudden they're sick. Now that means that by the time they find out that they have those symptoms, a whole lot of other people are now infected. I was reading a story the other day that said that this thing can actually live on countertops for up to five days. Now, that's amazing. So I want everybody to understand that this is a serious disease. Listen, it's so serious that um, they're not allowing people to take out too many masks. All right. So Taiwan says, hey, look, you come over here. Uh, you're not taking all of our masks. We're going to give you a total of five boxes. Um, and you can't take any more than that because they're afraid that people are going to literally start to hoard them. I honestly got to tell y'all, I'm a little concerned about this. And the reason why I'm concerned about it is because of how fast it spreads and then how it spreads without anybody knowing that they are sick. Um, I believe in Canada, there has now been reported um, uh, uh, somebody there that's been sick, but that's awful close to home. So we got to just stay above our wits here and we just got to know that it's serious enough for people to say, no, you can't go home. You got to stay here. And I don't believe that the amount of cities that they're saying has been uh, correctly uh, noted. You're hearing different stories different stories. This amount of cities said that they can't come. That amount of cities say that they can't come. Um, and then here you have now Taiwan banning the export or of the uh, actual surgical masks because they're fe fearing that there's so many people over there that are sick, they won't have any. So that's something serious. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to come and bring this quick report to you. Just a little quick update, just to shed some light on what's going on 
in uh, other countries that are close to China. All right. I will uh, talk to everybody later, but this is Felicia Lockhart and this has been the Lockhart Perspective.